The gang is all here. Look at him. This thing is quick. Oh, this is not happening. Is that a meteor? Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome back to the Master Mode Summoner. We're here. Episode 3. We're going to beat bosses this episode. Maybe get the old one's army stuff. But right here at the beginning, we're going to combine a few accessories together. I finally found the goblin. Look at this. I got a chain knife broken and i got a rally also broken great but i never get the chain knife ever and of course the one time i get it i'm a summoner and we're way past the time we're way past the point where it would be useful but yeah let's go ahead let's combine some stuff here so i have the selfish boots but instead of combining the selfish boots with the rocket boots we're gonna talk to the guide here because there is a whole new crafting tree with the selfish boots and the frog leg and look at this is even a whole crafting tree here with flippers there's one with tiger climbing gear that's actually kind of crazy i didn't know there was that many but i'm gonna combine these two together uh, just for now and then I think, I'm pretty sure I did keep regular Hermes boots. So I could still craft the, oh, I got a flipper too. So do I have another frog leg? I sold like all my frog legs. So I, I hope I have an extra. Oh, it's not looking like I kept any of the extras. It's all good. They're not that hard to get. But let's go ahead. Let's do this here. Boom. Amphibian boots. Number one. Boom. Spectre boots. Oh, and they're warding. Damn. Do I even want to upgrade them now because they have warding on them? I don't know. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get to the Eater of Worlds fight. Uh, we're going to fight it above ground and I'm going to summon it above ground uh so hopefully it isn't gonna be too hard maybe i should fight the old one's army first eh, i don't know i don't know we'll see so i've been getting blood moons like crazy i think this is back-to-back -back blood moons so i can't even like make my corruption arena and set up everything i need to set up look at this we got a vampire frog staff a second one and i also got a shark tooth necklace very very nice the shark tooth necklace is actually something a couple people recommended me to get it's just a great overall item to have especially now that it can be combined with the uh the bee accessory i don't remember the bee wax the bees wax something like that and uh that's nice that it has an upgrade tree even though it is only one upgrade i'm still glad that they added more upgrade trees to 1.4 oh rest in peace the golfer i have one grab potion can i find every single sky island probably not i also have a fart in a jar which is pretty nice we, we get some good flight we get some good hang time but i want to find a balloon turn that fart in a jar into a fart in a balloon that's disgusting who would do that i went all the way to the right there was no sky island that's kind of stupid i only have 40 seconds left let's hope i at least find one i just want to make my balloons found one and i bet it's gonna be a star fury oh it's a balloon oh my god we actually got good rng all right let's get it it's time to fight the the what's it called the eater of flesh nope the wall of flesh no who the hell are we fighting eater of worlds let's get it I'm ready for this. Now, I have no idea at all what summons I should be using for this. Um, I guess we'll figure it out. So, you may think the eater is kind of hard just because of all his acid that he spits. Well, guess what? You can break the acid, believe it or not. My summons are probably being driven in sand. Hold on. Give me a second. Stop hitting me. Let me choose specific summons to spawn in here. And then let's work with that, okay? Because... I don't, I don't know. Their AI is going to be broken just because of me constantly whipping it and changing where to attack. Can we get a Finch in here too? I want all three of them. We're all about that diversity here. Oh shit. Speaking about diversity, my boy split up. I don't know that, if that has anything to do with diversity. But he split up already. I didn't even notice. We still got a potion. I'm going to go ahead and drink the potion now. I like to drink the potions early rather than late, you know? seems like you get more health uh, when you do it early rather than late but all these potions that i got i didn't even eat that all this food that i got this should be enough to help me right you think how did i not get hit right there that was very surprising my finch doing absolutely nothing be summoning the finch adding another uh turtle that's not that is frog the finch you saw the finch how it was just stuck next to me like what the hell is the finch doing right there but yeah i think we should do the old one's army soon but at the same time i think we should do the queen bee just so we get more summons because we might have like five summons to fight if we do the queen bee right did we get three summons from the queen bee i'm not sure i'm not sure or not the queen bee the armor i think it gives us three summons it's either three or two summons but we're gonna have a straight up little miniature army and then we fight the old one's army i think honestly we might have trouble with the old one's army that are just stuck at fighting the old one's army we'll see we'll see i'll, I'll look at some strategies i don't know i've been told i just read a comment a second ago somebody told me to get the electric staff uh but i'm usually a ballista person 
I don't know. I, I like the penetration of the ballista. I like I just like the ballista. Honestly, I might switch to demonite armor for now. Uh, I'm just trying to rock whatever gives me the best defense, and demonite might be the way to go. Also, another thing, we might get the imp staff. Maybe this episode, we'll see. We'll see about that. Just for the old ones army, because the imp staff obviously it penetrates. And this one makes it very, very useful. Are my summons even helping me out here, or is it just me? I feel like I'm the only one doing anything right now. <laughs> These summons, they're, they're a little stupid. Like, I feel like I've been hearing no damage noises other than me. Go get them, boys. I I'll let them fight them. The rest of the fight's up to you guys. There we go. We did it. It only took mainly me doing all the damage, and then my summons slightly attacking. All right, here I am. I'm setting up an arena for the queen slime, for the queen bee, and I got a fiberglass fishing pole, which I have never gotten before in a vanilla playthrough. I don't think so. It's honestly pretty damn rare. So that's surprising. I just made a fisher's soul too. Kind of a waste in bars. It's all good. First time for everything, and I'm glad that this fiberglass fishing pole is in my inventory now because. I'm about to use it to fish up some honey fins. Is that what they're called? Whatever the hell they're called. All right, it is queen bee time. Let's get it. Oh man, I really don't know what enemies I'm, or I really don't know what summons I'm gonna use here. We'll try the frogs, see how that works. Let's get it. Let's get it, froggies. Help me out here. They haven't hit her once. Good start. I don't think they still have hit her once. Okay, let's, new plan, new plan. Uh, double finch. We have the penetration necklace, so you know that should help out a good bit here. And honestly, it's the queen bee. She shouldn't be too bad. I already got hit. Let me zoom out some more. Just so I got the, the full coverage of everything. I gotta remember that I can come down here to this bottom floor. Come on, get some hits in there, boys. I need all the boys running at once. We need everybody clicking on full heels. Is that a saying or did I just make that up? That's not like I just completely made that up. I don't think that's a saying. We got a bunch of buffs. My nose is itchy. Come on, come on. I just scratched my nose for a second. Fight's not going too bad, though. Fight's not going too bad. I don't, this might be the combo. This might not be the combo. Who knows? Frog Staff has not shown me the greatest battle stance yet. Acting like there is a battle stance that they do. But they haven't done much for me in terms of bosses. Especially with that Eater, the Eater Worlds fight that we just had. That was very terrible. And I did a majority of it. I bet I'm doing a majority of damage right now. The Finches are actually, they're kind of doing work. I, I gotta give it to the finches a little bit because they're, they're getting their licks in there but the frog he literally licks and i don't think he's getting many of those in there is anybody hitting it oh there we go there's, getting, there's some hits in there i'm not doing anything i'm just letting them run free i'm just doing a nice little strafe and letting them get their hits in there now let's see here should i go triple finch let's let's go triple finch okay let's try a multitude of different uh combinations here and see which one works oh the triple finch is doing not bad damage when she sits still, but I feel like all of them would do not bad damage when she's sitting still. And we got a lot of regen here. I might dip into the honey for a second, real quick. Just dip into the honey, get that regen bonus. And that should be like four or five different regen bonuses I have. My health should be like zooming up to the top. And it kind of is. So yeah, we can't really underestimate the finches. I know that I probably have talking shit about them before. They're not the greatest summon, but at the same time, they are the best in terms of movement, even though they are a little slow. They can fly through walls, and that right there makes them a lot better than the slime and the frog. They can fly through walls and do damage, is what I should say. Because obviously all those summons can fly through walls to get to you. But these guys can fly through walls, they can do the damage while flying through the walls, and they're not too bad. They're not too bad. Now, let's try a different loadout here. Do triple, triple slime, okay? Let's we'll see how that works. Let's we'll see how the triple slime works. And, uh, okay, they... It's not working at all. All right, back to the triple finch then. I should, never should have doubted the triple finch. Like, she was standing still, and the triple slimes were having troubles hitting her once. Like, it's kind of upsetting. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people told me that I should fight the queen bee as early as possible. But I've said many times, uh, not even many times, twice. I said that I want to get all the progression points for the summoner. You know, to show the summoner as a whole, what there is to offer, and there isn't much. You know, it's kind of bad when there's a class with a bunch of, uh, not even a bunch of items. There's a class of barely any items, and people still want to skip to getting those items because it's not worth it. On a class that already is so lackluster in the beginning. But don't worry, once we get to hard mode, things are going to step up a little bit, and we're also going to die a thousand times more. But uh, we'll figure it out. If you guys don't know, I've never beaten Master Mode yet. Straight up, I haven't beaten Master Mode. I haven't beaten 1.4 yet. I just haven't found the time to do it. Uh, even though I've been playing the game literally like non-stop. Except for when I was playing Minecraft Dungeons. 
I might have some Minecraft Dungeon videos coming out soon. This hopefully will be my first 1.4 playthrough. I don't know if I'm going to return to that stream playthrough I was doing. I have like seven or eight streams on that. I don't know if we'll return to that. We'll see. I was just getting beat down in that playthrough once we made it to hard mode. But this one, I'm feeling good. The progression is there. We got a nice flow in terms of progression in both the classes and the uh, game itself. Let's see. I did choose probably the hardest class to do a uh, oh God, machine gun. I did choose the hardest class here to do a playthrough on first, especially in master mode. And uh, hopefully, what is that note? You hear that? All right, back to it. Quick jump cut there. Oh my God, chaos is breaking out. Chaos is breaking out like it was outside. There was a bunch of nice cars that just like passed by outside, and they were all honking. Uh, I don't know what the hell. The car meet on the street. Not like M E A T. That just happened. Kind of interrupted me. It's all good. It's all good if it interrupted me because the fight is over right and the fight and the fight there the fight is over i'm playing master mode but i don't think i've gotten a single summon like rare master mode summon except for the prince slime one kind of upsetting actually let us pop open this treasure bag and hope we have enough oh that's definitely not enough to make armor there's no way that's enough to make armor oh is it perfect it might be perfect hold up okay oh we're barely off okay we're off by like six i think all right we should have enough oh god i just started everything we should have enough b wax to make our wait what, are, what do i need i need what is it the head the head okay we have enough head hornet staff am i gonna use the hornet staff that often i guess we'll see but we finally have our first summoner set can you believe that it takes the first second third fourth boss to get it i mean i guess you can just you know do this boom if you're good enough at juking and dodging for a while but there you go hornet armor our defense is gonna go down as expected but it's all good it's all good because in we lose our defense but you know what we gain increases your max number of minions by one increases your your max number of minions by one. Oh, so you don't get three minions you only get two that's kind of upsetting i don't know maybe they thought three would be too powerful i mean that's what i got the bewitching table for but now naturally we have one, two, three, four. Wow, we got five. I got five. Well, I guess I got all these potions on from fighting the other queen bee. But look at this. The gang is all here. Look at them. They're amazing. But yeah, we got the squad here. Five hornets. There's five hornets. You want to see five slimes? Look at this. Five slimes. You want to see five finches? Well, guess what? That's what five finches looks like. It's beautiful. Hey, don't tell Relogic. I'm about to hit you guys with a strat right here. We got seashells. We got a platform that's hammered. Boom. Now we got 200 seashells. Take it over here. Boom. 51 gold. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. We're here looking for some skates so I can upgrade my lightning boots. And the goal is to make Terror Spark boots, which I've not been able to make yet because of RNG when it comes to the lava charm she's never been able to get it but look at this speak about rng if this doesn't prove that i've been blessed so far in this playthrough look at this double frozen chest come on let one of them have what i'm looking for please make this a nice quick trip i've already been down here for like 10 15 minutes make this a nice quick trip right here okay not bad i'll take a pet you know i haven't even I've been using the slime uh what about this one this one doesn't look like it's hooked up to anything come on it's another boomerang no, i got two of them all right it's, it's fine no i've had some great rng so far you don't need it all the time all right so i've been notified of strategy here just put a bunch of menacing and angry on yo-yo strings and just summon set out your summons and hope they do work that's that's the shot right there that's all there is to it. I'm gonna rock these guys. I think these guys are gonna be good. I'm actually not sure. Uh, let's do that while we're at it. We're gonna buff up and we'll do one of those and then we switch it all back. Okay, let's get it. Oh, did it already start? Damn, it already started. Okay, I'm not ready for this. I'm, re I'm really not, but I'm gonna try my best, okay? My frogs are doing work to the left or to the right. That's what you like to, like to see. I think they're doing work over here. I don't know, are they? Damn, they really are doing work over here. What the heck? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Let's hope we can do this, because you know, the old one's army doesn't play, man. It doesn't play. Low key, it does not play. So this is the goal. We're gonna get ballistas up high. Jerry the tavern keep us slain. Uh, okay. Hopefully we don't lose, because he's not here to buy another one. And I think a big part of, about the old one's army is 
getting to the wave where there's a flying things and having stuff in the back to back it up. You know, back here, we need some ballistas back here, but also we need ballistas in the front. Plain and simple. Like so let's get to it. I'm gonna get my boys over here. Okay, I actually probably don't get them over there. They keep falling through the floor. Let's go over here then. Get the boys over here. Get the froggy boys over here. And just hope that they do work over here. And then we go back to the other side and go help over here. I'm really about to load up the ballistas back here. It's gonna be crazy back here. Cause like, I literally, every time I do this event by myself, I flawless it until it's the wyvern. The, the Ethereum wyvern now. And that's where stuff goes down here. Cause they fly, they go through walls. It's like, it's terrible. It's terrible and it makes it super hard. Put the frogs on the right side so they don't fall off. Okay, here's where the wyverns show up. Put the frogs on the right side so they don't fall off like we were on the left side. And then we go handle the left side with uh, everything we got. And here come the wyverns, the best part. Who doesn't love the wyverns? Give me more mana, I need more mana. Okay, we're going to the right. We're gonna make sure no wyverns are acting up over here. Okay, we're good over there. We're surprisingly good over there. We're gonna take this wyvern out and we're going back over there. We can hit him through the wall, luckily. Okay, here's a wyvern. I'd rather have the wyvern hit me. Rather have the wyvern hit me than, you know, have it hit the crystal. The wyverns also do like a million damage too, which kind of makes them a little bit harder. Cause like, they hurt if they hit you. They really do hurt. All right, let's get a final round. We're waiting on the one and only Dark Maid. That's what we're waiting for. Oh, I didn't put the frogs on this side. Uh oh, <laughs> completely forgot about that. Frogs, come over here, please. Oh god, this is bad. The crystal might actually take some damage. This is really bad. I messed up. I messed up by not putting them over here. I hope they just stay over there now. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna just place a ballista over there. And oh shit, we got the mage over here. Okay, we gotta take him out. I don't have the firepower to take him out, which is honestly really bad. Oh god. It's the last wave where my frogs at. Okay, frogs, just take out the mage right there. Take him out. And I will try my best to defend against these uh, wyverns while they fight. Ow, dude, I'm taking damage right now. I'm taking damage right now. Oh, this is not happening. This is not happening. I need to kill the Dark Mage to win. And I don't think we can kill the Dark Mage. <laughs> I don't think we can, dude. Because we got to defend the crystal. We got to fight the Dark Mage. My frogs aren't fighting the Dark... Oh, my God, you hate to see it. You really do. We have enough percentage to finish it. The frogs, they just, they just couldn't take on the Dark Mage. So, it seems, even, even though we only lost once, it seems that we have a plan here, a new plan of action. And that is get the Imp Staff, which I didn't want to have to do yet. Well, I guess we're at the point where we have to get another thing about it. We, like, did everything before. But, yeah, we got to get the Imp Staff so we can actually do that event. Because the Imps, they obviously penetrate. And, uh, it's, let's, let's go to hell, I guess. It's time to mine Hellstone. Also, I have this, the Armored Frog Gear. So... That's, that's a nice accessory. All right, so a quick thing I noticed here. Did I beat the old one's army and I just wasn't paying attention? I feel like I would've got more defender medals, but you're only supposed to be able to use these when you beat the old one's army. I can summon them and they're shooting enemies. I didn't beat the old one's army. <laughs> so I don't know if it bugged out, but you know, I'll accept the bug. I'm trying to find an enemy to shoot at here. Here we go, enemy right here. Boom, bada, bing, look. It's shooting them. I didn't beat the old one's army, but uh, you know, I'll take it. I will take it. Can I craft the imp staff? Do I have enough? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to the numbers. Let's see. 32. That better be enough. Oh, I could also make this. The lava proof bug net, which for sure I do want to make. But there it is. The imp staff, baby. We've been waiting for this thing. We've been waiting for this thing. I wonder how much how much damage I get if I put all of this on. I do like 25 compared to what? Was it 22? <laughs> okay, it's not that much damage. But boom. Bada bing. Look at the imps. You know, there's a lot of sprites in Turi I look at and I'm like, what am I looking at? And the imp staff is 100% one of them. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. There's an imp somewhere in this sprite. I don't know where. But yeah, the main reason these guys are good is because they pierce and penetrate. But if I don't need to fight the old one's army because I have the blister rod, then I don't even think I need them. So I guess Skeletron is up next on our list. All right, we're here. I was fishing for forever and I only caught four crates and a demon conch not too bad there's a couple of sita fish and flare fin koi but yeah i was lava fishing let's see what we get i want to get that new mount the shark please give it to me please oh we got the lava proof fishing hook which is actually really good because now i can just use regular bait okay awesome that's actually really really good boom what's in the next one <gasps> yes sir we got it something's a rideable lava shark mount we definitely gotta check that out in a second but let's pop up and everything else oh we got two of them mini volcano can be placed 
Wow, look at that. These are, I love the items you get for lava fishing. It's just they're really hard to get. It's no joke when it comes to lava fishing. You gotta have your percentage really high. You gotta have a big pool to fish in. For example, this is my pool I was fishing in. I can make it even better, but that's what I was able to do and clear out. But yeah, let's check out this lava fish mount. We'll check it out on land. Look at that. Wow, look at them go. This thing's sweet looking. But yeah, if we head down to hell though, you know, it gets a little cooler because this thing is one of, the, one of the fastest mounts. Not the fastest mount. It's one of the fastest mounts in liquid. Uh, I think the fish run mount still beats it. Uh, the fish run mount is a pretty damn good mount. I don't know why I'm falling down to hell when I literally have a demon conch now. Let me just use that. Does this put you just in random places in hell? I think it actually might just put you in the center. But let's do it. Ready? Lava mount. Whew. Oh my god. Okay, so obviously uh, there's not a lot of room to swim around here, but... You can just feel the speed. Let's get it right here. Lava shark meet ocean. Oh yes. This thing is quick. This thing is quick. I don't know if I'd ever actually use it to be honest against any bosses or anything, but this baby is quick. But yeah, we're, we're getting closer to fight Skeletron. I just want to grab a couple more things before I do. Uh, main thing is the Terra Spark boots. So I need to get Lava Charm, Water Waiting boots, all of that. And then we will fight Skeletron once I do that. But thanks to, you know, the fishing hook, this may be an easy task now. It is time to begin our fight. Let's hope that we can uh, manage here. And uh, let me go ahead and buff up and everything. Go ahead and do that. Boom. And we should be ready to go. I hope. We got everything. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Go ahead. And let's get it. Let's get it. I got so many things set up everywhere. That you think this fight shouldn't be too bad. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. Let's go after his hand, everybody. His hands. Let's go. So instead of the, uh, the usual whatever I was going to do. Whipping. We're gonna ballista spam, okay? We're gonna ballista spam as much as we can. And ballista spamming is just, you know, just clicking and shooting the ballista every time. Because every time you summon in a new ballista, it shoots the hand. So the goal, oh, nice one. Let's run into him again. Okay, almost did it right there because I didn't take flight. Uh, we're just gonna spawn the ballista over and over again and just hope that I can or slowly kill his hands. How much health are we missing? 100? So I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Because those potions heal for 100. All right, that hand is really, really low. I think we can go ahead and we switch to the next hand here. Um, if I feel comfortable enough to get some whips in there, then I'm gonna get some whips in there, of course. But uh, I don't even know if this works. You know, having menacing everything and then equipping it and then summoning minions. I don't know if it works because I was doing a damage test earlier and it didn't feel like it was working. But I don't know, I guess you never know. You never know. Maybe they just weren't critting. I don't know. It just felt like it wasn't working. Maybe, like maybe they removed it. Who knows? Uh, I gotta remember if I whip something that I, you know, change the targets back. Obviously. But uh, let's let's get that hand, everyone. Get that hand that I chose right there. Get the hand. Don't hit the other hand. Please don't hit the other hand. I gotta watch my mana. My mana is a problem for sure. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Don't know if I hit it. Ooh, I do know that I got here right there. I have a lot more buffs than usual for surely have a lot more buffs than usual oh okay they're both low they're both low all right run wild everyone you don't have to attack a specific hand uh how do i untarget i don't know just, uh <laughs> there you go i untargeted you guys can hit whatever hand you want okay hit that one hit the one that i targeted actually did you get it hit the one i targeted okay and now is go town baby it's go town we can actually whip them during this uh but then when the skulls come out that's when we gotta dodge Ooh about dodging i did not do that right there um but skeletron he's usually the boss that gives me the most trouble i don't know i just i just have trouble fighting him at least in the past i feel like i've been doing a lot better as of recently especially in master mode he's actually all the pre hard mode bosses they're actually not that bad in master mode it's what is legit once you step in hard mode that's where things amp up like crazy in master mode because you have 400 health in hard mode and everything hits you for like 100 150 guaranteed uh all all the regular enemies like even like regular slimes their health gets buffed like crazy that's legit that's where master mode actually gets different Ooh, we got a little rain a little ambience here it was already raining and hard as fuck to see so why not add more to it right oh we love that is that a meteor is that gonna say a meteor is crashed if that once that hits the floor? Cause that'd be pretty dope if it does. Oh, I can't see it anymore. Oh, can you actually see when the meteors crash? Is it gonna say a meteor is just crashed? No, it didn't say anything. Oh, that's kind of upsetting. <laughs> that would have been a sweet little detail. I'm actually kind of upset that it didn't do it. <laughs> but we're getting closer and closer to the end of the fight here, and we come to the part where it's like, now we gotta think about the wall of flesh and how that's gonna go down. It's doable. A lot of people recently have told me it's doable. 
But when I posted that first episode, there was a lot of people like, nope, it's impossible. It's like, nope, I only did it rocking other weapons. You know, deep down, I knew it's possible. But I, I was definitely questioning how possible. And a lot of people recently were like, yeah, I'm a summoner, master mode, and I'm doing good. So it's good to hear. It's good to hear that it's definitely possible. I've heard people on Moonlord, they beat the game. Speak about beating something. My meat. Nope, it's like it was Skeletron. Damn, I didn't get Skeletron's pet. That's like one of my most wanted pets is that master mode Skeletron pet. It's all good. It's all good. We'll fight him again in the future because I want that pet. But Skeletron has been defeated. Boom, open up the bag. Of course, I'm not going to get anything useful for him. I don't even know why he still has the bone glove. Who cares about the bone glove? There's no throwing. There's no caring about the bone glove. But yeah, there you go. Skeletron dead. I'm gonna explore the dungeon probably off camera. I am gonna end this episode here, but I'm gonna explore the dungeon off camera. You know, get all the goods I need to get from there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's Wall of Flesh next time, and I may or may not rematch the uh, Old Ones Army. Yeah, I probably will rematch them and try and actually beat it. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. See you next time. Become a channel member. Hit the join button. It helps me a lot.